Hey everyone, Money Tree here, and today we're going to talk about the six ways you can make money on YouTube. Now, most people don't realize YouTube should be used as a platform. It should be used as a springboard to generate income. You shouldn't just get all your income just from AdSense because AdSense really, to be honest, does not pay that well. So you should be using it as a springboard. Oh, just wait. Quick intro. Let's go. Okay, so we're back. So I want to talk about how you can make money on YouTube and there's a number of ways. And the first way I alluded to was just simple AdSense. Now the problem with AdSense is you're only going to average probably around um, $3 per thousand views. That's uh, RPM is a, is a good metric. It's a new metric that YouTube started using and you can use it in your uh, analytics. So basically if your channel is getting a thousand views a day, you're going to make about three bucks a day. Uh, you know, if you're lucky. So really, you, you need to have a lot of views to make money with AdSense. But what a lot of people don't tell you is there's a lot of different ways uh, that you can make money on YouTube. So affiliate marketing is really, really good. Now on my channel in particular, uh, I'm, I'm an Amazon affiliate in, in multiple countries. So I get paid from Amazon. And maybe I should do another video on how much you can actually make as an affiliate. Affiliates is a great thing and a lot of people don't realize um, uh, they think, well, what could I sell? What could I do? Uh, you know, there, there's a number of videos uh, that I watch, uh, a number of creators in the community who, you know, they may they may try on different lipsticks, uh, bags, uh, you know, purses, different types of hauls. For me, it's it's mainly on the Garage King channel. It's tools and stuff like that, how to do things. Uh, so 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 that's what I promote, and I only promote the products that I use and I believe in because there's been a few times where I've bought stuff and it's absolute crap. And you know what? If it's crap, I do not want to recommend it to anyone because everyone's going to think I'm crazy or I'm just full of crap and I'm not full of crap. So affiliates is really good marketing because if you got a channel on purses and you can recommend different purses, you can put in links for those purses. If you have, uh, if you're a carpet cleaning channel and you're just cleaning away on your carpets, put links for that. If you're detailing uh, cars, uh, you know, different waxes, stuff like that, do that. If you're a dog walker and you're reviewing different type of leashes, put in links for different type of leashes. There's so many things you could do with affiliates. It's it's unbelievable. You just have to use your imagination. You just have to be creative and use your imagination. Uh, that's, all, that's all I'm going to say anymore. That's all I'm going to say anymore because now I'm rambling too much about affiliates and I don't want to ramble on. I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be. So the other thing is um, we talked about actually earning on AdSense, okay? We talked about affiliates. So now we're going to talk about crowdsource funding. What crowdsource funding funding is? It's like uh, pa Patreon. So if um, I need to make say more expensive YouTube videos, and I'm like, can you help me? You guys love my videos. Uh, please fund me, and and uh, I'll make these great videos for you. So you could do crowdsource funding. It's kind of like donations a little bit. Uh, I don't know how well that works. It, it really depends on how long everyone keeps. Uh, I guess funding you, but crowdsource funding is uh, is one of them. So it's one thing I wanted to mention. The other thing is merchandise. If you can sell merchandise, that is awesome. I don't sell merchandise yet because I don't believe I'm big enough. On Garage King, I have around 1,600 subscribers. Money Tree, I have I think 30 or uh, 30 or 40. So it's, it's not a lot. So no one's going to buy a Money Tree shirt, and I don't think anyone's going to buy a Garage King shirt. But once I get a little bit bigger and I feel more comfortable with it, I think I'm going to try to step into the merch line. I'm, I'm going to try, it, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's like a it's like a business thing, right? We're, so we, we all got to be creative, and we all got to try different things. The other thing is brand deals. Now brand deals are kind of important. Um, because if someone wants you to promote uh, their their product now, and here we go, same thing as affiliates. Make sure it's a good product, because if it's a crappy product and you're promoting a crappy product, it just doesn't look good for you and your brand and your channel. So only promote stuff that you actually believe in. Now, lastly, one thing that has been uh, gaining some attention lately is live streams live streams and chats. So you can have donations for live streams and chats for putting them on. And you know, that, that, that that's a good way to support the host because if you think about it, the host is offering you something in a live stream or a chat. And how do you repay that host? The host isn't selling anything. And a lot of times on these live stream chats, you may not get like a lot of views if you only get a few hundred views. If you think about what I, I went back to your cost per thousand, uh, say even if you got 500 views on a live stream chat, that might work out to like $1.50 AdSense if you were actually monetized 
uh, when you were doing it. So it's not a lot. So how do you compensate that person for, for spending their time and hosting that chat and getting all those people together? Uh, you can give donations. So I mean, that, that, that's, that's a great thing and, and that's another uh, avenue of revenue. So the people who do chats and stuff like that, yeah, it's great. Take advantage of it, tap into it, and, and if you can make it work, uh, that, that's great. But basically, those, those are my things. Another quick video. I really don't like to take a lot of time on my videos because I know time is valuable and no one wants to ramble forever. So basically, we talked about YouTube, right? We talked about making money on AdSense. We talked about affiliates. We talked about crowdsource funding. Okay, so that's like Patreon, stuff like that. We talked about merchandise, brand deals, and chats. So those are the things we talked about how to make money on YouTube. Like I said, YouTube should be used as a platform. You should really expand. As an investor, I invest in a lot of stocks and I still haven't done any stock videos. I probably should be doing some more investing videos, but I just, I haven't yet. So uh, if you want to see those type of videos, but as an investor, I'll tell you, I pay up for growth. That's what I pay up for growth, diversification. That's what you want to do. And by doing all of those things and branching out your YouTube channel, that's exactly what you're doing. You're diversifying your channel and you're growing it in other ways. So growth and diversification, those are two really, really important things that investors look at. So anyway, that's it for my video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. I was gonna say Garage King over and out, but it's actually a Money Tree video, so Money Tree over and out. And I will hopefully see you on the next one. Thanks everyone, take care, bye-bye.